I offer my humble pranam at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Sathya Sai Baba. Welcome to video lecture on microcontroller and embedded system lab. Here, uh, this is actually introductory lecture on embedded system and microcontroller. Uh, I'm going to cover this uh, particular uh, topics in this uh, video series. That is LED interface. A push button interface, buzzer interface, relay, DC motor, stepper motor, DAC interface, ADC, LCD, that's a matches keyboard, a UART interface, seven segment display, toggle LED using external interrupts. Actually, these are all uh, part of the syllabus in our uh, fourth semester computer science and information engineering. They have all this uh, particular uh, uh, stuff. I'm going to discuss all these things in detail in coming uh, videos. Videos. Uh, just it's a just introduction about this particular lab. I'm going to tell you what are the experiments are there in this uh, particular thing. Uh, now this is the title of your lab: Microcontroller and Embedded System Laboratory. The subject code is uh, 18 CSL 48. <clears throat> this is uh, prescribed by uh, Visheshwaraya Technological University. That is VTU, Belgavi. That's under Karnataka. Uh, now, actually, they divide this particular syllabus into two parts. That is, a part A, it deals about uh, software programs. Already, I covered so many things about uh, a software, a instruction set, uh, programmer's model, and so many simple programs in the videos. Okay, just yes, you can go to Srinivas Shetty YouTube channel. Or you can visit my website uh, srinivasati.com. I covered so many programs in software, but in this video series, I'm going to concentrate on part B programs that is especially talking on hardware that is embedded hardware as well as software. It's a combination of both hardware and software. In a previous case, it's purely a software. We have to write these programs using assembly language program that is. LPC2148 uh, microcontroller. Okay, now but here we are not using assembly language, we are using C language. Using C language, we have to write a program to control this hardware. The first program is dis display hello world using a UAT. It's a internal UAT, it's a part of a, a microcontroller. Inside the microcontroller, we have UAT that is universal. Asynchronous receiver transmitter. You can perform both uh, reception as well as transmission by using this particular unit. Then we have to interface or to connect DC motor, DC motor to microcontroller that is LPC2148, LPC2148. Okay, and we are using ID called Kill Microvision Tool. Okay, Kill Microvision 4 tool, and here. And we are, because we have so many options are available, but we are going to concentrate on means we are going to use this uh, chip called LPC2148. So I have to interface DC motor to microcontroller LPC2148. And we have to write a program to control DC motor uh, either clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction using embedded C. Then we have to connect means you have to interface stepper motor. To LP, LPC2148 microcontroller, and we have to rotate in a clockwise and in anti clockwise direction. Okay, and then we have a built in ADC, it's a part of your microcontroller within LPC2148 microcontroller. We have ADC, unlock to digital converter. Okay, to get the unlock data, okay, the data may be from the what do you call uh, a temperature sensor or it may be a, a smoke sensor. Or it may be humidity sensor. We have different type of sensors. We can able to get the data from that sensor, okay, and then can it will convert, and we have to display it on uh, LCD or seven segment display. But then we have a digital to analog converter. It's a part of part of uh, what do you call ARM seven microcontroller LPC two one four eight LPC two one four eight. Okay, then we have to write a program for triangular and as well as square wave. You can able to generate different type of waveforms by using that digital to unlock converter. It converts the digital information to unlock and we can able to display it on CRO. 
CRO. Then we have to interface uh, Forecast for a keyboard. Forecast for keyboard. Okay, it's called a Mathis keyboard. Okay, and whatever the key we are going to press uh, from the keyboard, you have to display it on LCD. Then we have some external interrupt. It's available in LPC 2148. Therefore, we have to use external interrupt. Using this facility, we have to toggle an LED. We have to make it on and off. So if you press some switch, it must be on. If it is on, it must be off, like that, toggling. Then we have to interface the seven segment display, interface seven segment display to where? To your microcontroller LPC2148. Then I have to display X digit, that is from zero to nine, as well as the character from A through F. So many hexadecimal numbers from zero to F on seven segment. LED interface, seven segment display. Okay. Uh, now here, basically, what is the meaning of embedded systems? Suppose if you consider fan alone, it is not possible to call this fan as embedded system. Okay. Suppose we are going to control that fan by using some software, by, by using some control system, then that becomes a embedded system. Actually, the embedded system is the combination of both hardware as well as software. Okay, what is embedded system? And embedded system is nothing but hardware and as well as software. What is hardware? The physical component. Okay, we have a microcontroller, we have input device, we have output device, means we have sensors, we have actuators. The combination of all the things is called hardware. Then if you want to control this hardware, if you want to control this hardware, we need some programming language. Either you can go for assembly language we can write in assembly language also assembly language or it may be embedded c or it may be a c plus plus with the help of this okay we can able to write develop a device driver software okay i want to display something on the monitor we can display on the lcd or we can display something on seven segment display or we can control led we can get some data from the input device okay it may be a scanner it may be a touch screen Okay, if you want to develop, if you want to control any hardware devices, you have to write a software, the combination of hardware and software, for that we can call it as embedded system. That's why it is called as a embedded system lab. Okay, because if you want to create any embedded system, then definitely we require some microcontroller, some intelligent circuit, okay, microcontroller, microprocessor. Okay, now hardware, in this hardware, Actually, we have two categories in the hardware. That is, which one? That is one is called as sensors or input and actuators output. So we have different type of sensors. So we have temperature sensors, something called uh, the example for temperature sensors, as well as humidity sensor. DHT stands for a digital humidity temperature sensor. We have two version, 11 or 22. Uh, then smoke sensors. We can able to detect the smoke. Then ultrasonic sensors, with the help of this, we can able to find the distance. Then switch, it's also part of sensors. Okay, we, we can able to check whether uh, the switch is closed or open. Then potentiometer, potentiometer, we can able to vary the voltage. Okay, then we can able to give the variable voltage to your the microcontroller. The means uh, we can give it to ADC. ADC, uh, what do you call unlocked digital converter? It's a part of our microcontroller, and we can convert this unlock to digital. Then there'll be actuators. Actuators, in the sense, suppose I'm going to get the temperature from temperature sensor. Okay, then suppose if the temperature is high, then you can switch on the fan. Okay, switch on the AC. Okay, I switch off the AC. Say AC or fan or something comes under actuators. Here it may be a motor, LED is also part of your actuators. The LCD means it is a motor. Under motor, we can have a DC motor, a stepper motor. Okay, then we have a relay. If you want to uh, control the high voltage, means uh, electrical appliances in general, okay, you can go for relay, then buzzer and speaker, printer, all are uh, examples of actuators. Therefore, we have two things. The one is process sensors, the another one is called as actuators we have two categories under embedded system so in coming videos i'm going to explain 
all these things, uh, hardware as well as software with uh, appropriate demo for this. Now I told you already, so if you want to design any embedded system, we require one microcontroller. Definitely we require microcontroller. So in our course, uh, we are going to use LPC2148 microcontroller. It is a 32-bit microcontroller. It's a 32-bit microcontroller. Then we want to interface some sensors or input devices. So it is nothing but input devices or sensors. Okay, to where if you want to communicate, if you want to transfer the information from here to here, so definitely we require some lines. That's a group of communication lines is called bus. So there'll be a term called bus. What's the meaning of bus? It's a group of communication lines. Okay, if you want to communicate, if you want to transfer the information from input device or sensor to your microcontroller, so definitely we require some lines, a group of lines, wise. Okay, that is call it as what bus. Then in the same manner, I want to connect some output devices or it may be actuators. Okay, by the time I have to transfer the information from here to here. So get the temperature. Okay, then verify. Okay, if it is less than, then switch on the heater. Okay, if it is more, switch on the fan or cooler, or something like that. We have to send that information here. We have to send the information here. So this is the uh, just overall block diagram of your embedded system. If you want to design any embedded system, we require one microcontroller. In this case, in our course, we are going to use LPC2148 microcontroller. It's a 32-bit microcontroller. Then we need input devices. We have to get the data from the external devices. Okay, then manipulate. So perform some operations. It may be any operations. Then after that, we have to send the information here. Suppose it may be a, a keyboard. If you press some button, if you press some key, then you have to display that information on LCD or it may be a seven segment display or it may be a, uh, a screen. Okay, something like that. So now, uh, just I'm going to introduce some real operating, mean real components used in our uh, operating system, means uh, in embedded system. Okay, just uh, we can see that. Uh, now this is our uh, a microcontroller board. So this is our uh, LPC. This is LPC2148. This is LPC2148. It's a 32-bit microcontroller. So there are so many circuitry. It's something like a motherboard. It's like a motherboard. Uh, then, if you want, because if you go for this LPC2148, uh, within this, we have uh, unlock to digital convert. Uh, DAC is there. Timer is there. Built-in RAM is there. ROM, read-only memory, read-write memory, as well as we have a CPU, central processing unit. Then if you want to interface any external devices, we have something called port, P-O-R-T, port. Okay, port in a sense, it is a place where in which uh, there'll be arrival and departure. Say for example, airport, we can call it airport. There'll be arrival as well as departure. In the same manner, so if you want to get some data from outside or if you want to send or receive, then we need some sort of uh, ports. So that's also available. I'm going to explain in detail in the uh, later videos. Then if you want to connect with external devices, we have a pins. These are the pins. Here there'll be a, so many pins are there here. So many pins. Okay, it comes under the, this particular IC. Okay, uh, now this is a board. This is your uh, microcontroller board. It's very important. But this is like a part of, our, part of your uh, embedded system. It's a drain of your embedded system. Okay, without this, we can't do anything. We can't design any embedded system. The next thing is we have what you call uh, there'll be a sensor, say we know this is a, uh, what do you call, the temperature, uh, sorry, smoke sensor, it's a, a smoke sensor, then we can able to interface this smoke sensor with your, what is that, ARM7 microcontroller LPC2148. Then we have something called, uh, what do you call here, there'll be a temperature sensor, temperature sensor, it is DHT uh, 11 or 22. Okay, this is a temperature and humidity sensor. 
Then we have seven segment display. It's an example for actuators. Then here there'll be a pot, a potentiometer, it's a pot. Okay, potentiometer. Then there'll be here actually, uh, it is LED, light emitting diode, it is an LED. Okay, LED. Then there'll be push button switch, push button switch, push button switch. Then this also LEDs. Then we have something called RGB. Suppose if you go for uh, uh, any, actually we have some RGB LED also. See here. Now here there'll be RGB LED. Actually we can able to see uh, not two terminals. We have four terminals. There is RGB as well as one common is there. So red, green, there's a basic colors. Uh, using this, that's why if we go for LED monitor or LED TV, they're going to use this basic component. This is a RGB LED. This was an example for actuators. Then there'll be ultrasonic sensor. It's an ultrasonic sensor. It's a ultrasonic sensor. Using this, we can able, it has so many applications. Okay, you can able to measure the distance. It, using that concept, we can do a lot of things. Uh, now here we have something like, a, we know there'll be a speaker. We can interface speaker also. Okay, then we have actually this was a matrix keyboard. It's a chip, okay, we can able to get uh, in SP row. Okay, now this is a, what you call, it's a matrix uh, keyboard. Then there'll be a stepper motor. This is a stepper motor. Okay, the step angle is 1.8 degree. It's a step angle, it's a stepper motor. Okay, it's a stepper motor. It's a stepper motor, okay. Now we have something called a DC motor. So this is our DC motor. So DC motor, it has two terminals. We have two terminals. Okay, that is a negative. You can say it's a ground. It's a ground. This is plus VCC, plus 5 volt or something like that. Okay, it's a DC, DC motor. Uh, by, by using 12 volt, we can able to control this motor. Uh, then we have something called a buzzer. So this is a buzzer. Okay, it creates some beep uh, sound. Uh, then we have that is LDR, light dependent. Like that we have so many uh, sensors and actuators. Using all this component, uh, we can able to design wonderful uh, uh, embedded system. Actually, if you want to go for IoT, this is the basic things. That is a enhanced version of embedded system. Is nothing but IoT. If we interact uh, by using Wi-Fi, if we connect with internet, that becomes your I would. Now there'll be, uh, if you want to interface with your high voltage, means uh, electrical devices, electrical appliances, then you have to go for the relay. I'm going to explain all these things in detail in future videos. Okay, this all components are very, very important, it's very interesting because it includes both hardware as well as a software. Okay, see all devices are very, very important. Therefore, it's a combination of both hardware as well as software. It's a combination of hardware as well as software. So this is very interesting. Therefore, uh, you must you must have knowledge of hardware, but you must know the must have, must have knowledge of uh, software. Then only we can able to design the device driver software. Otherwise, it's not possible. Okay. So this is the way. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching this particular uh, uh, video. Uh, for future videos, if you want any information, then you can subscribe and you can put any doubts in the comment section. So, thank you very much.